everyone so today I'm filming this really cool pumpkin look it's in collaboration with Wilco and it's perfect for those of you on a budget this Halloween so I actually contacted Wilco about this collaboration after visiting their store and being blown away by the array of Halloween makeup and costumes and even household decorations and as they sell great quality products at such affordable prices I just knew I had to create something using their Halloween makeup and as some of the products cost as little as one pound I really saw it as more of a challenge to see what I could come up with and show you guys at home that you really don't have to spend a fortune on Halloween makeup so I've chosen these two packets to work from the smaller packet has the orange that I need and the bigger packet has the black face paint that I want to use and it also has some extra grease paints and if you turn them over they've got some inspiration ideas on the back I'm dipping into the £5 Halloween bundle and I'm mixing some of the yellow and red together because I'm going to need a little bit more of the orange than what comes in the smaller packet. And I've also found that these ones are a little bit more pigmented than the one in the smaller packet. Both of them come with a little black crayon which is really handy because you can sketch onto the face the shapes that you want to create. They also have a couple of different colours in each of the packets. I've started off by creating a line above the eyebrow bone going upwards towards the outer corner of my forehead. And then I'm tracing that around the bottom half of my eye socket and we're not being too neat about it because we want some nice jaggedy lines. After all we want the pumpkin to look a little bit sinister, not too friendly. For the nose I'm creating an upside down sort of triangular shape and it's going to be a little bit skeletal so we're creating a small V shape on the centre of the nose. I'm just going in and reshaping the bottom half of the eye socket to create a few more jaggedy lines. And then along the top lip and onto the cheeks, I'm creating sharp triangular shapes which is going to give us the illusion of a mouth. When we carve pumpkins, we tend to give them sharp jaggedy teeth, so that's exactly what we're creating here on our own faces. The great thing about these little crayons is that if you make a mistake, they're really easy to wipe away. They don't smear or leave any stains on your face. You can simply use your finger in a swiping motion over the crayon and it will remove it straight away from your skin. Once you've finished drawing on both sides of your face and they're relatively symmetrical, we're ready to start painting. I'm going to be taking this black face paint which costs only £1 and we're going to use this to start filling in the areas that we've drawn around the eyes and around the nose and mouth. Now in order for us to get the best colour payoff, I found the best way to work with it is to mix the face paint and the grease paint. So first off we're going to apply one layer of the face paint. Now don't worry if your initial layer is a little wishy-washy, once we build on the products it's going to be completely opaque. The great thing is the face paint and the grease paint both come in one packet. As I've opened this one and I'm only using the orange, I'm going to use the black out of it to make use of it. But we also have the same black in the bigger Halloween pack. So we've got the face paint down as a first layer, so this is going to help the grease paint to go down and look more opaque. You can already see we're getting a really good black payoff, but we're not finished there. We're going to go back in with our face paint as a third layer for two reasons. Firstly, it will make it that little bit more black, but it will also set the grease paint so it's not going to move as much. If you watch my makeup tutorials, then you'll know I'm a massive fan of layering products because it really does help with the longevity. Once you've done both eyes, you should look something like this, which is a little bit like a superhero. And we're going to move on to applying that orange colour that we mixed up earlier. If you prefer you can do all the black sections first and then go in with the orange paint. I was a little bit excited and I wanted to get on with trying some of the orange shade. And I was actually quite pleased with how pigmented it was. Even though it is really visible I still decide to apply two coats to the face because I like my products again to last longer but I also want them to be as bright as possible. I'm using a relatively large brush to apply this to all the larger sections on my face and then later on I'm going to go in with a smaller brush to take that orange closer to the black lines around the face. I decided just to take this orange down around the jawline but it's up to you if you want to take it down your neck. Then off camera I applied a second coat before then going in with a smaller brush around the eye area to make sure that we've got more of a sharper line and also to make sure we haven't missed any areas that aren't covered in orange. Going back to my face paint, I'm going to apply a layer of this to the nose and let that dry before going in with the grease paint. Oh, by the way, this black also comes in the £5 Halloween kit, but as you can see you can also purchase it separately for a pound, but I forgot to mention that it does actually come in that one kit. So pretty much everything that you need to create this look comes in that Halloween kit. You don't have the orange, but you can mix the orange with the red and yellow like I've done, and it only costs £5. Absolute bargain. 
I actually have a couple of Wilco stores near me, but if you don't, you can order online at wilco.com. You'd be pleased to hear that delivery costs are nice and low. And they also have an order and collect service. So if you go in store and they've not got what you want, you can order it and you can pop in and grab it. And obviously that service is free. I know many of you that follow me are parents and it can be quite expensive at Halloween, especially with costumes. So I'm hoping that doing this makeup, being as affordable as it is, will help you. So my first layer on the nose and mouth of the face paint has dried so I'm going straight in with the grease paint to make it darker and the grease paint does have a little bit more colour in it than the black that's why I'm using it rather than layering up the face paint. If you're happy with two coats you don't have to go over it with another layer of the face paint but what I will mention is that grease paint does stay quite greasy and that extra layer of face paint will set it in place. To start making our pumpkin look a little bit more three-dimensional, I'm going in with the yellow grease paint, which also comes in both kits, and I'm using that in a stipple motion in a straight line down the centre of the forehead. This is creating a highlighted area to make it look as though it's slightly more forward than the orange, and this is what's going to create that kind of classic rippled pumpkin shape. We're going to repeat this in small sections, leaving a gap in between each line. To soften the line, we're going to go back in with the brush that we applied the orange with. I'm going to tap that over the top, which is going to feather out those seams and make it look a lot more blended. With the yellow lines that start to get further out along the forehead, we're going to start to taper them in at the very top, which will make the pumpkin look more rounded towards the top. I like that these kits contain both grease paint and face paint. Grease paint is so easy to work with, it makes blending an absolute dream. And usually grease paint is a lot stronger in colour. Moving on to the cheeks, we want the yellow lines to kind of match up as best as we can with the lines on the forehead. But don't worry if they're not perfect, just do the best you can. On the outside of the jaw, you want to create a line going from the bottom of the jaw all the way up towards the temple area. And make sure it slightly arcs again to give us that rounded feel. And then same as before, just tap that in with your brush with the orange grease paint on it. Now I'm taking a small amount of the orange and yellow mixed together with a tiny hint of black and I mean a really tiny amount and to warm it back up I'm adding in a tiny amount of red and we're going to use this to add some shading to our look. So I'm placing this underneath the eyes and we're going to start fading that down between the orange and the yellow to almost create a bit of a shadow which creates depth making it look more rippled than it already does. This really does only have to be very subtle, but it really will make quite a difference. We're using the same colour around the brow bone to make it look more sinister, creating a bit of an arc at the very top to make it look like we're frowning. And I'm using that small brush that I used earlier that has the orange on it to tap that colour in, because that gives us that beautiful blend which makes it look more like a shadow rather than a drawn on line. Now although we've set the eyes with face paint, the grease paint is still on there so we can shift it about with a small brush. So I'm dragging the grease paint up from the eyes in tiny little wiggly motions, almost like loads of tiny little roots, which also in turn look a little bit like smoke. It's a really cool effect and we're doing this between the orange and the yellow lines and then on the bottom half of the face, underneath the eyes, we're dragging that down to meet the sharp jaggedy points around the mouth. Once again, this emphasises those ridges, but we want to keep the lines soft and wiggly. We don't want any straight, harsh lines. And although they're going to meet in the middle, they barely touch. I'm doing the same around the eye area towards the nose. And although it's not going to reach down to the bottom lip, we are dragging that bottom lip upwards towards where those lines stop. I'm creating some of these squiggly lines around the forehead where the hairline is. And also at the very tip of the sharp point of the nose, on both sides, I'm going to start creating some wiggly lines off of those as well. This just creates texture and makes the look look so much more interesting. You also want to repeat the same process around the bottom half of the mouth. Don't forget to also include the sides of your eyes. These can match up to the very edges of your jaw, but also around the outer half of the eyes where the temple area is. Just create some lines coming off of that. On the lower half have them coming downwards and then as you get to the top create them going upwards. The last step is to add one more set of highlights. So I'm going back to my small palette and dipping that into the white which again comes in both Halloween kits. And we're going to tap this on the very centre of the yellow lines that we created. This only has to be really really subtle, apply the colour first then use what's left on the bristles to tap that colour in and it's just going to make them look a little bit more prominent Anything that's highlighted will look like it comes forward and we're doing this to make those ridges look a little bit more prominent. 
Then I just popped on a black wig just for fun and that completes my super affordable Halloween makeup look. I will link my favourite Wilco Halloween makeup products below in the description for you. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you missed last week's tutorial it will be on screen for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!